College athletes and influencers will soon encourage Kentucky kids to live a drug free lifestyle. As WDRB's Monica Harkins tells us, it's part of a multi million dollar prevention campaign. I'm here to discuss the gaping hole in our efforts to fight the drug threat here in Kentucky. Tuesday afternoon, Attorney General Russell Coleman presented before Kentucky's Opioid Abatement Commission. It's a group of lawmakers created to decide how to spend Kentucky's nearly $900 million in opioid settlement money. For a lot of Kentuckians, this opioid settlement money is blood money. Coleman says his $3.6 million pitch has three parts. The biggest is launching an advertising campaign using young people like influencers and name image and likeness deals with athletes to promote healthy, drug-free lifestyles. We know that young people simply won't respond to scare tactics or stern lectures. Folks dressed like me pounding the podium. I'm a parent of teenagers. Believe me, I have plenty of personal experience with being ignored by young people on a, on a daily basis. The Better Without It campaign has already seen success among the target demographic, 13 to 26 year olds in Florida. Encouraging young people to make positive choices and realize their fullest potential. One Eastern Kentucky lawmaker asked how the campaign will appeal to rural communities like his. Is it, is it gonna be in all of Kentucky? The response was different regional messaging will be targeted to the youth in that area. Really make this feel authentic. We know it's important in order to connect with youth for it to feel like it's coming from their home. The second part is expanding access to anti-drug programs that already exist into more classrooms. And third is raising awareness about the commission and the nonprofits already benefiting from settlement money grants. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The new prevention plan passed unanimously. We exist in an environment where as little as one pill can and is killing Kentucky kids. Now it's time for us to get to work. At the state capitol with photojournalist Josh Horton, Monica Harkins, WDRB News.